Since the July 26 coup in Niger that ousted former President Mohamed Bazoum, a known French ally, France has been at loggerheads with Niger's new military leaders. Just like it happened in Mali and Burkina Faso, the coup leaders in Niger demanded the withdrawal of France from the country after it renounced the military defense agreement with France, but France remained defiant, refusing to leave. However, recent reports revealed that France has begun talks with Niger that will ensure the possible withdrawal of French troops from the country. Recall that after Mali and Burkina Faso kicked French troops out, Niger became a crucial hub for France, and France went ahead to station 1,500 troops to help fight against armed rebels in the region. Former French ambassador to Mali and Senegal Nicolas Normand confirmed the news, saying that talks between the French and Niger forces to partially evacuate soldiers were ongoing, according to his sources. Normand also stated that his source, who wishes to remain anonymous, stated that the talks should not be interpreted as a recognition of the coup leaders but rather as a technical dialogue between the two forces. The Nigerian military and the Ministry of Armed Forces also confirmed the news, saying that they were discussing the details of withdrawing certain military elements. This news comes amidst the growing anti-French sentiment that has continued to spread across Niger and even increased further when France ignored the junta's order for its ambassador, Sylvainit, to leave within 48 hours. According to the Nigerian Foreign Ministry, the ambassador was asked to leave for refusing to attend a meeting scheduled with Niger's foreign minister, including other actions by the French government that are against Niger's interest. Speaking on the issue, French President Emmanuel Macron said that it will not leave Niger, despite the expiration of the junta's deadline. He went further to say that France's policy towards Niger is the right one and that it was based on the commitment of our diplomats, of our ambassador on the ground who remains, despite pressures, despite everything, and all the declarations made by illegitimate authorities. The president also added that France does not recognize Niger's military authorities and insists that deposed President Mohamed Bazoum, who was toppled in a coup last month, remains the country's only legitimate authority. All this has prompted tens of thousands of protesters to gather outside a French military base in Niger's capital, Niamey, and demand the complete withdrawal of French troops from the country. While some demonstrators slashed the throat of a goat clothed in French colors and dragged coffins draped in French flags in front of a queue of Nigerian troops, others carried posters demanding that France leave. According to some reports, this protest was the biggest yet, and it suggests that support for the junta and the derision of France is not waning. We are ready to sacrifice ourselves today because we are proud, said demonstrator Yukuba Isufu. They plundered our resources, and we became aware. So they're going to get out. Speaking at a press conference in Niamey on a variety of subjects, Prime Minister Oli Mohamed Lomine Zin insisted that French forces are in the country illegally because the military authority cancelled the agreements that allowed them to be on our territory. He further added that they are in an illegal position, but I believe that ongoing exchanges will allow these forces to leave our country very quickly. Zin also mentioned French Ambassador Sylvain It, who was ousted from the nation but refused to leave despite military authorities robbing him of his credentials and immunities. The Premier claimed Sylvain It, whom French President Emmanuel Macron praised for his bravery, did not behave properly as a diplomat. This is contempt that is not acceptable, he remarked. Following the military takeover and the suspension of anti-terrorist cooperation between the two countries, French forces and military resources have been immobilized. And helicopters and aircraft have been grounded for a month. So according to a source, it is normal to discuss this withdrawal insofar as anti-terrorist cooperation has been suspended. It would be a welcome development and a big win for Niger if the talks resulted in the eventual departure of the French troops. What are your thoughts? Do you think France will finally agree to leave Niger? Do leave your thoughts down below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share.